We've got a restart happening. So these guys get a fresh clock. They're ready to uh, start again, and let's hope the waves show up for uh, the start of their, their restart. 30 minutes for Wade Carmichael and David Silva to lock in a couple of big scores. Remember that David Silva got the jump on Wade Carmichael in this same round down at Bells Beach. He surely hasn't forgotten that. He's trying to take that inside position at the moment. Off the bottom, upside down, coming around. Another top turn, but just gets stuck up there. Silver, a couple of turns, but a little bit messy in the transition. Wow, to be surfing your back end after a heat of Jean Deroux, you're going to have to be on point, that's for sure. Got a lot of tail above the lip on that turn there. Gets around, little pump to second bottom turn. Just didn't really need the tail above the lip on the second one. He got stuck up there. You know, we're going to keep talking about it all day. Chin makes it super hard. Here's Carmichael's first turn out of the lip, under the lip snap. Transition turn to turn really good. A lot of power through all these turns. Into the tricky inside. Up off the top, finishes it off. And uh, Wade just... Uh, giving it to the lip right there. They're the turns that have got him to where he is today, up vying for world titles. Not quite in that conversation yet, but if we see turns like this, Ron, get consistent in all different types of waves, this man uh, could see himself in the top five one day. Well, just look at the way that his board cuts through each of those turns. You know, often you see guys do uh, explosive manoeuvres or, or work their way through a car, but there, there is grabs that they're pushing through, through those manoeuvres, but, but Wade just keeps his rail so clean. I'm sure Wade learnt that out of that first heat and uh, just making sure he's in full attack for that outside. Here we go again. Well, Wade Carmichael up. He had a 5-5 on that last ride. Big punch in that first pocket. Now goes to some nice rail turns, really pushing hard and accelerating through these calves. So some decent variation. And uh, Wade, he'd refer to himself as a, a bit of a, a blue collar competitor. You know, not always going to the, those fancier sort of turns, but what he does, he does so well. Yeah, nice inside wave, hits the reef perfectly, sets himself up. Big out of the lip, transition to a big carb was done perfectly. Another carb to the inside, just making sure he finishes the critical part of the wave. Up on the foam, didn't matter too much by then. Smaller inside wave, but it just had the right angle onto the reef. Comes around, up vertical, gets a tail above the lip, and then comes out of this one, not even a double pump into a beautiful hack, just pushing around, putting all his effort into that one. Really finishing off the waves here at Karamas exactly how he needs to. These guys are fantastic, best in the world you've ever seen, but uh, to turn up and keep it consistent is another thing. Some motion out here, and David Silva, super explosive, putting everything into that first turn. Let's have a look at Silva's ride first. Yeah, chasing this wave down the whole time. That turn was incredible out of the lip for a fast-breaking wave and gets up there one more time just with a float. And somehow banks a third turn with a hit out of the lip. Was that a sell, though? I think uh, Wade Carmichael knew exactly what he was trying to achieve there. And, uh, and the reason I'm saying that is because the wave he gets behind this one of Silver, he just went to town on. But look at this turn here. This is really hard to do. Get vertical out of the lip, get your fins above, air drop it down. And then this is a bit right here, straight off the bottom, straight to the lip, and the lip's halfway over and hitting it again. That right there is super hard to achieve. And this guy is amazing because he gets one more little, yeah, okay, I'll just throw it up and get a third. He was on that ride doing so well to get a couple of big hits in as well behind him. Wade Carmichael's up. Just uh, exploding through the pocket again. And he's driving through to the inside now. 
I'm looking for the finish, and he'll get it. Gets his board up wow. nice and high over that end section. Six, 16 and a half minutes to go here. I want to look at this wave. Oh my goodness. Bang out of the lip for Wade Carmichael. Carmichael. Another one in the pocket. Maybe a little bit repetitious there, but that was so hard to do and with so much power and flowed incredibly through all these turns. Up into the lip. Smashes that thing, comes down as we are getting used to seeing from Wade Carmichael straight up in in the lip again comes around feels he's got to change it up a little bit but that lip didn't let him look at that spray going everywhere but now he finally gets to change it up and get a little bit of variety in this turn he slows the bottom turn up opens up the shoulders pushes all with all his might into that tail and just destroys the lip and finishes off that's going to be a good score so uh, some very important decision making happening as we see up and riding. Well, Wade Carmichael just uh, forcing the decision for David Silva. He's got a bit more pace, a uh, bit more room to move on this open face. A couple of nice turns on the outside. Look for a big finish and gives it just that. A really solid end section turn. We know how important they've been in just getting your number from just sort of that that average range or that fair range to, to locked into the good range. Super important exchange. Further down the reef, upside down on the first turn. A little bit slow out of that one, but the lip cooperating for him to get upside down one more time and carves out of the top. That one was a little sleepy, but he finishes really nice with a big hit of the lip. Big upset results already this morning. Solid performances too. Julian Wilson rebounded well, but right now Wade Carmichael needs to do some work on this ride. Chasing a 5.67, has looked super confident. And he knows that he has to dig in on those first couple of sections here. Been looking really sharp, but found himself back at second spot. Needs a good finish on the inside here. David Silva finished his right off with a big backhand hit. Wade goes to the float. The high percentage play. Did he do uh, enough on the outside to warrant the number from the judges, Luke? You know, this first turn here has been so crucial today and Wade getting it up there. Great second carve. Lip cooperating for a third bell. Gets a little carve to set up the inside and he's been, you know, would have to call it safe on the inside because he really wants the completion, but that one goes right down to the river mouth. Steps off onto the sand. We'll have another look at it from the drone perspective here. That first turn, so crucial today. And the second one then just backs it up, gets a third. I think he's going to get the score. I feel that he's done enough surfing here on this wave. I like that outside. The judges have been very crucial on the outside and not putting too much account on the inside part of the reef unless it's a massive turn. But this turn here, just bang out of the lip. Pulls it down, comes back around. Look at this carve, just talks the body right around. Huge slash. I love the way Wade's linking his turns together out here. Gets one more vertical. And that wave had enough uh, west in it to just make it hug the reef all the way down. He gets a little safe on the inside for my liking, but hey, he stays on his feet to finish it off. and. That's a point of difference of some of the early heats today. Just it off and stays on his feet. Well, David Silva's throwing some big individual turns. Can he string a few together here to get himself the lead? A 5.97 is required. Really solid start, and he's not done with this one just yet. And he tees off on that one from start to finish. And you like his chances at turning in the number he needs here, Luke. Really strong on the outside. Only came for him. Down the line, comes around the section. Had to kind of bank that one off a little bit, but gets it up into the lip one more time. Comes around with a little slash. Finishes off with another one. This morning is more of a live action. Yeah, Wade taking off. Less than a minute to go. He might need to turn in a bigger score here. Solid start. This wave's starting to fade away, and Carmichael gets out of there. Sided by less than a point here. Wade. 
Getting two good turns there, but flicking out. Waiting for numbers to drop, and the boys keep them busy in the final stages here. David Silva again. Strong opening manoeuvre. Sets the fins free for a moment. Not done with this one. Hooking under the lip. Didn't have the, the same fireworks through this ride as his previous, but he kept very busy. Finished it off. 30 seconds to go. He should have waited because this wave was on the outside for Silva to have another go at it. Gets up there, gets hung up a little bit to get the second one done. And gets a nice crisp couple of turns on the inside, but uh, judges have been clear that the outside has been needed for it. And it's probably got a little bit to do with the waves that he was catching, Luke. It is he was kind of forced to be a little repetitious. He wasn't getting those sections okay, to get backhand Silva, cars going because he was constantly ago, chasing seven, sections down. So we are waiting on the numbers to come through. And the number is in for David Silver and Luke, you were spot on. It was a 5.77, so maybe just didn't give that first section enough. And David Silver's fallen short. Wade Carmichael survives here in the round of 32.